forging cyber, forging cyber security experts. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV and I am here at RSA 2014 in San Francisco overlooking the show floor with my co-host Joe McRae. He is the Chief Technical Officer for Secure Ninja. How you doing everybody? And we are interviewing Todd Beardsley. He's the Metasploit Engineering Manager for Rapid7. How are you, Todd? Ahoy, ahoy. I'm doing good. I'm awesome. doing great. Thanks for talking with us today. The last time we spoke to you was at Black Hat last year, which yep. was you know about seven months ago. What are some of the developments that has been that have been made with Metasploit since that time? Uh, well, uh, that was, as you remember, our 10th anniversary of Metasploit. Yes. And that was kind of a big deal. Uh, and you'd think with these laurels, they're so comfortable. We'd love to just rest on them for a while. But no, uh, we've been going, we've been going nuts lately. Um, the, I think the biggest, biggest thing we've done since then is like a complete overhaul of the Windows Meterpreter uh, payload. It's a, it's like a payload backdoor rootkit kind of thing that mm -hmm. we install uh, on targeted systems with permission, of course. Um, but it's been getting a ton, a ton, a ton of love. And like anybody who's been following Metasploit development lately, like knows all about it. But I'm happy. I will talk for three hours about Meterpreter development. Excellent. Excellent. So. I was looking for a three-hour interview. Yeah, excellent. It's cool. <laughs> hey, Todd, man. Great to have you here. Quick question I wanted to ask you. Uh, since you're doing all this rewriting and reworking of Meterpreter on Windows, could you tell me more about some of the things that you guys have been doing, like uh, the, the PowerShell stuff and maybe some stuff with the clipboard? And what else you guys have been doing down there? Sure, yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, exactly. Uh, on, on the uh, clipboard side of things, uh, Windows has this clipboard, right? And just super five second uh, uh, instruction on that. Uh, whenever you do a copy, then a paste, um, you that data lives in your clipboard for that period, right? And so what we have now in Meterpret is this super, super rad uh, clipboard monitor. So anytime new data hits that clipboard, you know, Meterpreter grabs it, gives it to the attacker. So this is great for things like, um, like we initially thought of it like as okay, cool, we can like steal passwords at a key pass, right? Um, but it turns out it's like a zillion times more useful than that. Uh, the guy who did most of the main development on it, uh, OJ the Colonial Reeves, uh, he uh, he had it running on his own machine, like his own real live machine, for like a day just to see like, you know, what could you pull out of it and like kind of look at it and look for bugs and all that. Because it's also real smart about like if it's an image, it saves it as an image. If it's a, like a Binary, it saves it as binary. If it's text, Whoa. it saves it as text. Everything's timestamped. Everything like so you get like this really really neat like sequence of like workflow from Whoa. the whole day of like what he's doing. He spends a lot of time in Visual Studio, so he gets a ton of that stuff. It's really rad, and you can like real quickly like build out kind of like a like a user profile of your target no way. when you're right like right after exploitation without like a whole lot of thinking really. Like you just say like you know clipboard monitor run or whatever it is, and. Um, and yeah, and it just runs. And you let it run for a day and come back and look at the thing and like, oh, okay, this dude is a developer. No, this dude is a CFO because he's like doing crazy Excel macro stuff all day. Um, and you don't have to like do all this invasive like uh, 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 like monitor, like screenscaping, yeah. anything like that. If you just look at their clipboard, that's enough. you know. And so you can kind of like indirectly make really good profile assessments of like who, who you've just owned. Wow. Yep. Hey, quick question also. Um, I've also noticed because I was watching a lot of framework updates, what's going on with all this virus total check-in and this AV evasion things that have been happening with that? Uh, sure. Um, so uh, another guy who works on Metasploit all the time, uh, Wei Sinner Chen, um, put together this really super rad thing um, for uh, uh, Checking uh, virus total signatures, basically, of running processes. Uh, so this and this, there's a couple uses that we have for that. Like a, if you're building like your own custom payload that you're, you know, don't want to share with open source. First, a naughty. B, you don't want that stuff getting caught, right? So you can like at, during development just like run quick virus total scans like straight off on the internet. Um, and B, if you've compromised a machine, um, you know. We, we often say like when we're doing exploits and vulnerabilities and stuff, we're, you know, we're, we just assume we're the dumbest guys in the room and we're not the, we haven't found the, the thing yet. But we're not the first ones there, right? Um, with, if you can like uh, check the running services on the machine you just owned, you can, you can see like, am I the first person here? Am I Whoa. the second person? Am I the 10th person here? You know, something like that. Because like if you own the machine, maybe someone else has already owned it before you. So like that's kind of like a good quick sanity check. No you know? way. Um, so it's pretty, that's pretty neat. Um, with the AV evasion stuff, we're working on that. Um, uh, 
you know, because that's an arms race, right? And sure. like, uh, it, it's a thing that like pen testers come back to us over and over and over again. It's like, oh, you know, I had the shell, but then AB like knocked me out and it super sucked. And I don't want to have to, you know, I'm too busy pen testing. I don't have time to like write my own custom payload because sure. and you shouldn't have to because, you know, with Metasploit is kind of a lingua franca. You should be able to mix and match and stuff. So with some onboard AB evasion stuff that we're uh, going to be trotting out here uh, pr pretty soon. Um, and you know it's all it's always ongoing. Obviously, we're gonna have like kind of a big overhaul real soon now. Wink, wink. Um, when that happens, like it, it'll get a lot, lot harder. It's on these guys, right? It's on these guys over here to to pick up, you know, wow. where we're at on that. So. Wow. So it sounds like Metasploit is changing and developing and growing. Yeah. Have you guys totally gone Hollywood? Or are you still kind of <laughs> grassroots? Totally hot. We're completely hot. <laughs> you know? Okay. So there's like I can answer that two different ways. Um, a, no, we're still like we're down in the neighborhood. Um, and it's fine, and and we're still doing the thing. We're you know baking, making the donuts like on a day to day, and we're you know we're doing the exploits. We deal with the contributors. We have like 205 contributors over the course of 2013, which is up about a hundred ish percent from the year before. Wow! So about a about, about a about a double. Um, nice. It was like a little over a hundred before that, right? Um, uh, but two, yes, we're totally going Hollywood because we're doing cool things uh, that you see in movies. Like we've been like kind of focusing on that because it's just fun yeah. and funny. Um, we, so we had this whole like kind of internal project of Hollywood hacking, uh, where I can do things like, um, you know, I, I can do things like record your microphone. I can do things like, you know, stuff that you probably could never get an okay to do on a real pen test, but it's still right. fun for, you know, for lulz. <laughs> and it's great during like CTFs, you know, when people are playing. And that's like, if I can get you like using Metasploit when you're playing and doing CTFs, which is serious business, yeah, 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 but it's not real. Um, but if I can get you like playing with Metasploit, I'm like a lot more likely to get you to like maybe look at it for your like real security right. uh, interests. And so we can do things like, so the, uh, the video mic stuff, uh, we have this like uh, two-way chat thing, which is like super awesome rad. Um, uh, we have like, a, you know, the regular screenscape and the clipboard stuff again is like really kind of kind of out there. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's super fun. Awesome. Wow. Hey, so, so uh, I, I've, also, I've also heard that you guys are really putting a lot of focus on getting on as many different things, like lowering the yes. total cost of ownership. You want to be on everything? What's going on with that? Yeah, yeah, the, the, oh, you're right. The total cost of ownership. What that means basically is that we want we want to have a presence on on uh, on every platform that you can think of. Obviously, we've been doing a lot since even since we last talked. We've been doing a lot on like MIPS-based architecture uh, payload you know, payloads to deploy on things like uh, home routers. You know, that's kind of a, so you have this whole embedded device. I know they like to say like the Internet of Things. Um, yeah. So we're we're on that, um, but also like doing like real solid serious work on uh, Android Meterpreter, on Java Meterpreter. We have this like really sweet uh, Python Meterpreter by uh, uh, Zero Steiner. Um, he he did most of the work on that. that. That kid is like brilliant. I'm super happy to have him around. Um, but yeah, like having something like a like a Python based Meterpreter is is gets you not just on Linux, but it gets you on like basically any like Linuxy device because virtually everything has Python. Like you have to have Python to do your updates to do your software install. So it it's there, and if it's there, like why not use it as you know a, a ready made you know bed to put your you know rootkit on? So, Absolutely yeah. awesome. Absolutely awesome. I understand that uh, contributing to Metal Exploit has become easier in recent years. We try. Recent years. Yeah, yeah, we try. I love, I love all the noobs, right? Yeah. And I want to make thing. I want to make things as easy as easy as easy as possible. I can to make it happen. So, like, you know, we talked about it a little bit last time. We're on Git. And Git we use Git and GitHub, um, which has kind of like a like a real steep learning, not really curve, kind of a wall. But then once you're over that wall, it's like it's awesome. Right. Um, you know that lets you do things like fork and branch and merge and come back again and like and like and mo before Git, um, like branching and forking used to be like evil, dirty things that make it like really super hard to like come back to the main line. And now it's like crazy easy. So we have like hundreds and hundreds of forks out there of Metasploit that everybody can use uh, for whatever they need to use. And if they come up with something cool, then they can just like you know isolate those changes, give them back to us, and then we'll look at it 
and uh, and then and fold it back in. And that's a part. That's definitely part of the reason why we had this like two x ish growth right. uh, of external contributors. Uh, we're working more on the documents uh, and documentation. Uh, we do a lot more, <laughs> tons more testing on like core components. So like if you're a noob and you give me something that like breaks the hell out of everything, right. you know, we'll notice that right away. Uh, and that's good because then we can tell you, give you feedback. You're like, no, that dog, you can't do that. You got to do it. You know, please read the docs and like let's do it this way. And maybe you didn't think of that. So it's very collaborative. We're on there all the time. We are creatures of the internet. We live there. We we. We, and we love them all. We love right. we, we do. I really do. Like right in my heart. They you love there. the noobs. I do. I love all the noobs. <laughs> well, Todd, thank you so much for speaking with us. We love what you're doing with Metasploit, and we love hearing about all the new developments and all that good stuff. Well, great. Thank you. I this this is like a high point of my RSA experience. Is so it? yeah, it really is. Um, too. Um, because you know, in a in a sea of business casual, you know, right. it's like. All right, cool. Uh, but I do. I love. I love all these guys too. You know, they they put shoes in my kids' feet. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Definitely, everyone at home. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the interviews we're doing here at RSA this week. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter so you don't miss any of our great updates. We also have an Instagram account now, so check that out as well. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.